Hi, it's Jonathan Lau with Ozuric Vets. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate for you how to ozonate a fluid using our 500 ml fluid bubbler. So let's jump into a couple quick tips here before we get started. Number one, you're going to probably want a hydrophobic valve. This hydrophobic valve, if water gets to it, will immediately close and not allow any fluid to enter into your generator. So before we do a f ozonate a fluid or use an oil, we always like to put that onto our ozone generator, regardless of the generator we're using before we start. You also need a destruct of some sort. You'll need a fluid bubbler. This is our 500 ml fluid bubbler. You'll need your oxygen regulator, oxygen tank, and your ozone generator, of course. So the first step is making sure these are on the same surface. We don't like the water being higher than the generator. Again, you have more likelihood of siphoning that back into the generator if you if you put it up higher than your generator. So keep it on the same surface or the water below this, the generator. We're gonna just take and connect the middle stem tube. So it goes down all the way into our diffuser stone in the bottom of this base, right to the ozone outlet on our generator, okay? The secondary tube, the exhaust tube, will run to a destruct, okay? Now, if your destruct ever gets wet, you're gonna smell ozone. That means that you've got fluid into it. You wanna make sure you never get fluid into your destruct. After you do your ozonation process, always disconnect your generator from the bubbler. And I would disconnect the destruct as well and just set those aside so that we never get fluid into them. We're gonna open the valve on the top of our tank here. We're going to go ahead and turn our regulator on. Now, as I turn that on, I actually see bubbles start in my fluid flask here. We're not creating ozone because we haven't turned our ozone generator on, but oxygen is running from our oxygen tank into our bubbler. So that's what you see taking place. Now, the moment I turn my generator on, which I've done now, um, that's producing ozone. And so that ozone is going to ozonate a fluid. Recognize that regardless of what I ozonate the fluid at. So if I ozonate the fluid at, let's say, 40 micrograms per milliliter or 50 or 60 or 70 or 80 micrograms per milliliter, I will not get that concentration into the fluid. A fluid, a sterile fluid like normal saline or distilled water will saturate at somewhere between 20 micrograms per milliliter, maybe up to tops 35 micrograms per milliliter. So you're going to saturate the fluid at that level. The, the determining factors are the purity of the fluid, also the uh, temperature of that fluid. The colder the fluid, the longer ozone will last in it. We tell people the half-life of ozone in a fluid is about 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, you diminish the potency of that ozonated fluid by half. So if we had 20 micrograms per milliliter in there at the beginning, after 30 minutes, we'll have 10, um, and so on and so forth. So use that fluid as quickly as possible. Um, I always tell people if you're going to use it after 20, 30 minutes, go ahead and refresh it. We also recommend ozonating that fluid for five minutes for every 250 mLs of fluid. So if I have, let's say, 300, 350 in here, I'm going to do it for six, seven minutes, uh, ozonate it, and then I'll be done. Now, what concentration am I going to ozonate it on? It depends on what I'm using it for, and you can look at our treatment guide to determine what you should do there. However, if I'm just trying to get as much ozone into that fluid as possible, uh, I'm going to drink it or um, maybe I'm going to put it subcutaneously for a saline or I'm going to do a lavage with that externally. I'm just going to ozonate it at a higher concentration and a decent flow rate. Ideally, that flow rate will be a quarter to a half a liter per minute. Now, with the hummingbird and the canary generators, you can't get that high. So don't worry. That's not a big deal. Um, you're just not going to be able to ozonate it quite as quickly. So we're going to put it at an eighth of a liter per minute on our hummingbird generator. That gives us 54 micrograms per milliliter and we're going to go ahead and allow that to probably ozonate for about 10 minutes now because again we can't get that high volume that we could with maybe our uh, more top of the line ozone generators okay so that's the basic process for ozonating a fluid and a lot of different tips that i threw in there free of charge for you um, once we're done with this process i'm going to turn my generator off i'm going to let the oxygen run for just a minute longer to go ahead and purge the line here of any ozone that remained in that. In fact, I might even turn it up 
to a liter, a liter and a half for just a second and then turn my um, regulator off. As I mentioned, I'm always gonna disconnect my fluid from my generator. I can go ahead and disconnect my destruct as well. And uh, now, the best way to draw up ozone out of your fluid bubbler is actually just to take your top off. Now you will have a little bit of ozone probably that makes its way out as you do that. So you may smell it. Um, I'm gonna set that aside. And the best way is to draw it up into a syringe. So if I have a, a sterile or a clean syringe with a clean catheter or another type of tube, I can actually use that just put it down in and draw it into my syringe and then go and use it uh, appropriately. Um, another way is just to dump it out. However, recognize you're gonna have an ozone, a layer of ozone on the top here of the bubbler above the fluid um, that has not been absorbed into the fluid. So when you dump that out, you're gonna get more ozone out into the air. So make sure that you're, you're not right by a pet or a person when you dump that out into a dish or a container of some sort so that it doesn't, uh, affect them and they, they breathe that in. Those are some of our tips. That's how, it, how to ozonate the fluid. Um, every time we ozonate, of course, we're sterilizing that fluid, we're sterilizing that container. The only two types of fluid that we recommend are normal saline and distilled water. And those are the best ones to use because they'll saturate at the highest levels and you won't get any reactions um, of ozone with the fluid if you just stick with those ones. Don't, don't use RO water or other types of filtered water. It doesn't work as well. I mean, you can do it in a pinch, uh, but recognize you're not gonna get as high a level of concentration and it's gonna break down faster. Thanks for watching, hope this was helpful.